Hi, my name is Jonathan Hicks. I'm back at the Dice Cup, and today I'm joined by Jonathan, Glenn, and Dean. And we've just finished playing Saboteur. Now, this is a social deduction game, kind of, in that you each get a secret role. In this case, I was a saboteur, but you might just be a truthful dwarf here trying to make an honest living digging underground, making tunnels, as you can see here. We're also collectively making these tunnels, and you're trying to get to the gold. There's actually three cards here. They're all face down at the end, uh, so you don't know which one is which. The two of them just are coal, and you don't want that. The uh, good dwarves, if you like, are trying to build a path to the gold. And when it's your turn, you're playing cards. And most of these cards are like path cards. So you start from here. At the beginning of the game, this is the only card. And you're trying to build a path up. So you can see we've played cards like this. You might be very restricted in what you've got in your hand, which is why someone's built an odd card here. But in general, the good guys are trying to build a helpful route through to the gold. Now, it's not just trial and error. If we look at the cards here, some cards, in fact, this one here, lets you take a sneak peek at one of the face down cards. You get to see if it's gold or if it's coal, but if you're a saboteur, then you're probably gonna lie. So I could look at this one over here and say, oh, this is the gold, this is the one we want to go for. And then someone else might look at it and say, no, no, that's not the gold. Uh, there you can also play cards to try and stop other people. So if you think somebody's the saboteur, or if you are the saboteur and you wanna stop like, one of the goodies, then you can play this card on someone which kind of breaks them and that means they can't pay paths anymore in the middle. And there are other cards like this one will free the broken card, so that kind of clears that so that person can then play again. And these are very useful for the saboteur. If you play this, it breaks one of the cards, like an earthquake. So if I was the saboteur and they were nearly complete, let's say they got to here and they just need a couple more cards, I could perhaps play this card and break this last route here, which makes it then harder for them to get to the gold. So you take it in turns, playing the cards, uh, trying to build the paths, or if you're the saboteur trying to stop the paths, trying to get to the gold. All right, what do we think? It's a clever game. It's very easy to pick up. It's like, great for the whole family. I would say, however, that uh, if you have more than five players, you really want to get your hands on the expansion because that makes it a better game for everybody if you have a bigger group. Okay. Glenn? Yeah, I really enjoy the game. It's quick. It's light. It takes up to ten players with the base game. Um, and regardless of what the age recommendation is, you can play it with quite young children as well. Okay. Dean? Yeah, it's a nice light filler. This this always used to be our default game while we were waiting for people to turn up because you can play it. Theoretically, people can actually join in just later on. They'll be behind, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it's a nice light filler for several people while you're waiting for the rest of the club to turn up. Rating out of ten? Uh, about six and a half, seven. Okay. Glenn? I'd go seven and a half, probably. Okay. Chantal? I'd go for a seven, yes. All right. Yeah, it's very good for what it is. They say it's short and it's light. It gives you a little bit of social deduction. It's interesting when you see people playing the routes, sometimes someone will play a route which isn't really great. It's not definitely a bad move. And you're like, oh, are they, are they a saboteur or are they not? So there's definitely quite a bit of guesswork going on in terms of whether you're not a saboteur. And when two people are conflicting, saying, oh, that's the gold. No, 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 that's not the gold. Uh, it's very fun, I think. Um, it's a bit light for me personally. I think I'd be on a 7 out of 10, but it's very solid for what it is. All right, thanks very much for watching. That was... Saboteur!